Basically, this is the beginning of a new series that I'm going to start. I'm going to show you how I, well, this is one of the places I ordered from that I ordered because I saw that she had some doilies, and I have a lot of doilies, but I saw she had some that were unique, that types that I would use for um, making flowers, and I have plans to make some beautiful flowers. This is where I ordered from, C and C crafts and antiques Sierra Miller and um, she has an Etsy store is it Etsy yes it is and I think she has an Etsy store but I will put links to her in in my description box but look what a simple thing she made this is so cute look a little flower and she just put it on a piece of a star so adorable and she put that as a gift including this little purple one flower. of the reasons i ordered is because i'm planning to make flowers but i want to show you some of the things that i found and I, look at this i didn't even realize this was so beautiful when i when i ordered it and i when you order doilies a lot of times they're they're vintage and there could be staining on them and um, i do know that but look at this how simple these flowers are going to be for me to make because they're already pre-made they're just, it's loaded with blues and pinks of beautiful flowers. I'm actually going to take this one and I'm going to separate it. And I bet I come up with a good 50 flowers off of this. The little flowers are about, ah, looks like they're a little bigger, larger than an inch. But I bet I can make them bigger by, um, by starching them a little or I could just leave them that size either these are perfect for flower centers so this is something you can look for yourself when you, I looked on there I said "Ooh, look at those pretty colors I want to be able to make flowers with those so I will show you how I'll take some of these pieces and turn them into other flowers or other useful pieces that you can use and that's what my goal will be in these um doil taking doilies and turning them into flowers and turning them into functional pieces um, for your crafting and i know a lot of you already have those ideas and know how to do that but some of you won't since maybe some of you will learn something new and the other thing i'd like you to do is that comment below my videos and give me I your ideas of what you do because that way i can include them in future um parts of my series so I am open I uh, this is one of the things that I'm planning to do and so in I didn't you could see when she does she does a photo and you see everything I didn't realize how much was in the package I was ordering I am a crocheter so I appreciate crocheting so look at this stack of crocheted like they're like pieces I would say as a crocheter when I was going to make an afghan I made these pieces and then I would attach them together to make something out of them but um there's different uses that i could do, use this for and this is actually real this is like a soft yarn so you can actually i can actually take these and make attach them together and actually make a blanket a little mini baby blanket if i want to because i do understand how to do that myself you basically would sew these together or i can add another row around it and then kind of make it my own so these are already pre-made and they are actually very well well made and there are i don't know what size are these squares so these are things that i'm just showing you because there are things you can you can do with a variety of things that you might have hanging around or you might find and say well there's nothing like, these are about a seven inch square so they would make a nice um, little small blanket there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of them. I can't believe how many there were. And or I may I may try to make a flower with them also so I can show you what you could do with something like this. So I didn't even know this was all in there. And then I had this. This is just gorgeous that was in there. And this is actually, um, it looks like a trivet. It has a little, it's made with a little hook on it. Because that's what you could do with these also. You can actually... Um, attach two back to back and it could become a pot holder because um, it has a lot of holes to be a pot holder by itself so you it need to be doubled up or you can attach it to a piece of nice thick cotton and sew it on something like that but so this one look at the degrees of beauty this has in it it has this handmade 
piece that somebody added and it has greens, it has pinks. This can actually be turned into a flower and then it has um, this beautiful flower that if you would want to use it on a project. But I'm actually like this so much, I'm actually going to put it in my kitchen because I like vintage items and I appreciate them and I love the colors of this. It has very subtle, the pinks are not overwhelming and it has some green in it. So I'm going to keep this, but if I want, I can always, um, and I can all, I, I can crochet well enough that I can take this and I can look at it and I can duplicate this. But not everyone can do that. So in our future, it's possible I may do um, crocheting tutorials. It's just the way my channel morphs and the different series I create will be based on my interest, based on your interest. Uh, then it had this one in it. And this one is, is ready to use in your kitchen. It is vintage. And look at the pretty colors it has on it. So this one will work as a pot holder. It's doubled up, but it'll work as a pot holder because it's so thick. And then it has a place, a way to hang it. So I like that. I'm going to hang these in my kitchen, actually. I like vintage things. This, this kit was not very, this set was not very expensive. And then she has these gorgeous little, this is a very light piece, very light. And um, like I said, I had in mind to make flowers with some of the things that I saw. So I may, you may see me use this in the future. And she had all of the, those doilies on top of this and of course this is you can see it's vintage there's a little small stain there which I don't mind I can use this in you can use this for any reason this would be a wonderful it's a it's a round table tablecloth and it has um, this edging on it that looks a little bit tattered see that and then in the center here it has this beautiful Doily, and it has tea staining on it. So guess what would it do? This looks like it may be cotton. It would be beautiful if I would tea dye the entire thing. So I just might do that. I don't know. And I can use it on a project. I I look I think it would look really pretty tea dyed and used as a Christmas tree skirt. So a lot of tablecloths that you get that are crocheted would look beautiful as a ornament or decoration during the holiday seasons. Let's see what else. Okay, so that I had more than, than this is another doily. So it's very light, but it feels like it's a little bit starched. It's very open. But this is the one I actually saw that I really like the colors. And I wanted to get something like this with these fringy, fringy colors. See, this is almost like a teal color. And I want to be able to make flowers with it. I want to show you how. You can see that right in here there's actually a single flower right there so how simple is that to cut that out as kind of like this one and actually just make them flower centers very simple easy a way to save money but I want to take it and I want to use the different parts of it of um, a sample that I purchased myself from someplace and actually show you different ways to make flowers with it to make Mm, use it in different types of projects because I will be making um, a variety of projects kind of in line with this theme that I'm going to do this new series and so uh, this is how I wanted to start my series by showing you some of the things that I was able to just find online from a fellow crafter if you don't have any she just sell she doesn't only sell um, doilies and things like that she also sells um pieces of wedding dresses that she's actually um taken apart she started she recently started kits where she's actually making small kits and then you know selling a small amount of kits which is wonderful because that's what a lot of us like to and see some of us to keep your sharp eye out to when you can find cool deals um of vintage items from your fellow crafters I like us to support each other as um, small crafters and that's what I've done here I purchased her items because I plan to make them and I saw potential and I'm actually going to begin by cutting this one apart and the reason I'm going to cut this one apart is because it's got such beautiful little flowers on it now when you're working when you're working with cotton cotton usually that's what most of these um, most doilies are 
They're usually made out of cotton, but there are some that are made out of synthetics. And the synthetic ones I noticed will f will come apart and fray a lot easier than these, than the cotton. And um, because I'm a skilled crocheter, I know I know what to look for. And usually, if I can put this up close, you can see that right here, the blue is connected with the pink. That's one of the things I liked about this is that there's separate colors um, together. So you can kind of see the difference. There's the blue and they're they're connected together and that's how we crochet. So you could choose to clip the blue or clip the pink. So I'm gonna clip the blue one this time, but I'm gonna pull it apart for you and you're gonna see that look, it comes apart. So normally it's not a big deal. You just leave it like that and use it like that and it won't it won't really show. If you wish, you can actually glue that together. And depends on how you're gonna use it. For me, I like the tattered look, and this will just make a beautiful flower center. So you will find me making all these beautiful little gorgeous flowers that somebody took the time to actually make. And how beautiful is that? <laughs> beautiful these are pastel little pastel colors and then they have some pieces that are pink isn't that gorgeous so don't don't worry about it now if you can also take this and um, you can actually starch it um, if you would just wet this a little bit it can actually um, spread I'm actually gonna wet it for you and you will see that you can actually stretch it a little bit so that it can become a little bit larger and um, if you put starch on it it will stiffen a little more so I want to show you the difference between this one and the other see the difference that one and here's this one you see right next to it and so you can actually make it a little bit larger just by doing that because this is cotton. Cotton shrinks up when it is dried. This that I'm putting on it is actually like a wrinkle releaser. And I use that sometimes in my products and you can see. And there's nothing wrong if you go around this and you can actually snip these and make this snip and vault down the center and make it look, change the way it looks by separating the petals. See, it's getting more petals now and it's looking larger. Okay. So that is tattering it up a lot more and look how it looks now. So there you go. Changing the sizes, changing the look. Now, next time I'll show you how to turn this into more of a bud. <laughs>